The power is clean and it's free, but the panels are pricey and people wonder if they'll ever pay out. Three, cut. On Earth Day, Randolph-Macon College and Dominion, Virginia Power cut the ribbon on a solar power installation that puts both on the cutting edge with the state's first fully solar and integrated battery storage site. This device right here is an inverter, and that's what changes it from DC power to AC power that we all use in our homes. Well, what's unique about this particular installation is that this will be our first facility that's going to be integrating battery storage along with solar. So we have many other facilities that have strictly solar, but this will be the first where we're going to be evaluating battery technology. Randolph-Macon is not the largest, but it is the first such installation in the state, and it's important to the students. Global warming is a big deal, and uh, just seeing the polar uh, ice melting and stuff, and I feel like uh, we need alternative energy. The path we're going on right now is not safe, but we could change that. I love that. I mean, we just had that space up there doing nothing, and it's a great spot for solar panels, so I'm glad we could uh, help out with the, with the effort. Solar facility works great. It works peak between, let's say, 12 o'clock and 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But people come home between 4 and 6 in the evening, and that's when we need to use that power. So that battery serves as the medium by which we can shift that maximum power potential from the sun and move it to the time that people need it. Dave Reeves, Dominion Virginia Power, says the Randolph-Macon installation will help the company plot a path for solar panels in a world that needs more power and less pollution. For Science Matters, I'm Charles Fishburne, WCBE News.